Hi, this is Xtal. In today's tutorial, we'll dive into creating audio reactive editing in Touch Designer, where cuts automatically sync to the beat of your music. We'll be analyzing audio signals and using them to drive seamless visual transitions in real time. First, we bring in an audio file in CHOP to load our music file. This node converts the audio signal into CHOP channels, allowing Touch Designer to process and analyze it in real time. The extracted audio data will later serve as the foundation for beat detection and cut transitions. Next, we connect an audio spectrum CHOP to transform the waveform into the frequency domain. This node breaks down the audio into a detailed spectrum from low to high frequencies. With this data, we can detect beats and rhythms more precisely. Next, we use an Analyze Chop to condense the spectrum data. With the function set to maximum, it extracts the peak value from the incoming audio channels in real time. This output becomes a key signal for driving beat triggers and cut transitions. We now connect a Math Chop to normalize the output from the Analyze node. This operator adjusts the signal range and scales it into usable values. By doing so, we ensure the audio data can reliably drive our cut triggers in the next step. Using the range parameters in the math, we remap the signal values. In this case, we normalize the input between 0 and 1, then expand the output to a range from 1 to 3. This step ensures the data fits perfectly for controlling other nodes. Now, we bring in multiple movie file in tops and connect them to a switch top. The switch operator selects one of the input videos to output. By driving its index parameter with our audio trigger signal, the cuts will automatically sync to the beat of the music. We connect the output of the math chop to the index parameter of the switch top. This allows the audio signal to directly control the video switching. As a result, every beat triggers a cut, keeping the visuals perfectly in sync with the music.
In this step, we connect a single audio-driven signal to two different switch tops. Each switch controls a separate group of video sources, and both respond to the beat at the same time. This creates a richer, more dynamic multi-source cut editing effect synced to the music. Finally, we merge the outputs of multiple switch tops into one master switch. This setup consolidates the group transitions into a single output, creating a complex cut editing system that responds directly to the beat. The result is a richer and more rhythmic audio reactive editing effect. We adjust the multiply parameter in the math chop to amplify the signal. This makes the beat response more pronounced and easier to control. Depending on your setup, you can increase or decrease this value to fine tune the strength of your transitions. We use a level top to fine tune the color and contrast of our output. By adjusting brightness, gamma, and contrast, we can give the visuals a stronger and more experimental look. Finally, we use a movie file out TOP to render out our final video. By setting the resolution, frame rate, and codec, you can record the visuals directly to a file synced perfectly with the music. And with that, our audio reactive cutting system is complete.
And that brings us to the end of today's tutorial, where we built an audio reactive editing system that automatically cuts to the beat. When visuals and music are synced together as one rhythm, the result is far more immersive and powerful. I hope this walkthrough has sparked new ideas and inspiration for your own creative projects. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.